So here we are in this wonderful world of choices. We've been given free will to make the choices that we want to make. And there's this little thing over here called rebellion. And you know, throughout history, every generation wants to alter the generation that preceded them. We need to change that. We need that, that incredible idea of creating our own life, living a life that, that you determine is the way you want to go. Then there's this other side of the coin, which seems to be one that's not run down very often, which is the side that talks about obedience being uh, of one that understands how you function, how you work, what makes you work. And they, they fit into that mold, very few of them, but you know, those that do live in a world of clarity. They're working in worlds of whole foods and understanding how energy is made. They have knowledge and the understanding and they go down that road and it seems like they live differently. Now you, you compare that to this other road of processed foods, of fast foods, lots of sugar, and what that builds into our life, which is a, a world of diabetes, of obesity, uh, aches and pains, lack of energy, depression, all of these things seem to fall over here. And we get this wonderful thing called a free, free choice. And the vast majority of Americans choose out of convenience, out of misunderstanding, out of emotions, out of a variety of things that takes them down this road and then they have to intervene with drugs and alcohol, suicide, depression, all of those things seem to be loaded in that road over here. We look to, it, to the world of pharmaceuticals to deal with the problems that we created because of perhaps diet. Now, it's not 100%, but you know something? If the other side over here opened up a venue of freedom, and, and I know in my case, you know, touching this thing of 77 years of, of age and looking at my counterparts that I went to school with and seeing them now in the pain and the, they're, they're overweight and they're fragile and they have no energy. I feel sorry for them because they have become quite stubborn in their ways. And, and they don't want to admit that maybe the mistakes that they've chosen out of ignorance, out of uh, you choose the reason that a person decides to put something in their body that's a poison, and you've got it. Now, there's this whole thing about Dr. Uh, Walter Willett out of, out of Harvard. He talks about one of the major issues in, in our world is obesity and the, all of the diseases that are tangled up in, in the fats that we burn. The extra seven miles of capillaries and wood, blood passage per pound of fat makes your heart beat harder, less cleanliness. We need to have that, that understanding to where we can build energy live in a peaceful environment in our own body. If that's doable, you know, the Hebrew language is so interesting because they have a word that calls Mitzrayim, which means a new life. And that new life is, is yours through understanding and the word that is so despised in America called discipline and obedience. And yet, within those two words is fashioned a wonderful thing called freedom. And I know that in my life, that when I gave up my stranglehold on being my boss, when I gave it up and built a regiment around an understanding of how I was designed to eat, and I followed that design, all at once these diseases went away. And that's the thing that clarity comes your way.